not only is it fan base review, Dragon Ball Battle of Gods are all owned by Funimation, Toei Animation, Fuji TV, and Kiri Toriyama. Please support the official release. God damn it, when the hell did we start stealing things? I'm fucking out of here. Alright then, so... This is supposed to be my final review, or hopefully my final review. I don't want to review the shitty movies anymore, but... He's gonna tell me my last movie. Let's see what it is. Oh, fuck! No! Ugh. <coughs> I'm, I'm not gonna review Twilight, alright? Even I have standards. Actually, I have higher standards than he does, but... Wait a minute, I just got a text. Oh shit, he says I'm allowed to fucking choose! And he says, Ha ha, you felt for it. Even I'm not that sick. Asshole. Dragon Ball, starting with a very simple story about just finding the Dragon Balls. Eventually, it turned into more of an action show with Super Saiyans and a lot of screaming. But then, in 1997, over 10 years of Dragon Ball, the show ended because GT was a complete piece of shit. And mostly the series was dead, except for a few movies and Dragon Ball Kai, which was a re-edit of Dragon Ball Z, but instead, you know, it was dead, pretty much. Well, until 2013, when the first canon Dragon Ball movie fan came out, well, technically the first canon movie, but we'll get into that. This is Dragon Ball Z, yeah, or Super, or whatever, Battle of the Gods. The movie be being set only a little bit after the end of the Buu Saga, where Beerus, the god of destruction, goes down to Earth to meet Goku because of him defeating Frieza, so he can go down as Goku becomes a god and fight him and protect Earth. And I am reviewing the movie, not Super episodes, because first off, they're longer, even though it is the canon version, but, you know, this is an actual movie, so I'm just gonna review this. It's easier on me, so let's go. So the movie begins a recap of the shows with mostly new animations, skipping most of the Frieza sh saga, showing Cell die and then Boo die, and then we go to the Kais, and the Supreme Kai still is fused, and they talk of someone awakening with Goku training on King Kai's planet. Of course, Goku is curious, and King Kai explains to him. Why would God destroy things? What's the point of that? Creation and destruction, Goku. And that is Beerus, a god of destruction, destroyer of planets. Which is not a good thing to tell Goku since he's gonna want to fight him. That's gonna end in pain. And by the way, yes, I am watching the English dub because it's easier. Don't judge me. So now we go to meet the God of Destruction, who is a kitty cat. But he is stronger than any other cat. And don't ever give him cat food. He will scratch your motherfucking face off. It hurts like a bitch. Beerus is just waking up for a few hundred years of hibernation. And he wakes up to hear that Lord Frieza is dead. And Goku beat him, turning Super Saiyan. As he remembers a dream about fighting a Super Saiyan God. And if you did want to see that dream, too bad you don't. Well, I guess you technically do if his vision was the end of this movie. Which it could have been, so I guess they technically did show it. So they decide to go to King Kai's planet, and on Earth, they're having a party for Bulma's birthday. Bulma was now played by Monica Real. Who is the only big change in the cast. And she does a fine job, but I do prefer the original actress in the English dub. But she does a fine job, so whatever. So now everyone is at the party, and he asks Bowman's dad for drinks, even though Satan respects him. And they're so rich, they're giving things away. And it is nice to see these characters again after GT, which isn't even canon anymore because of this. Which I'll get into later, trust me. But it is nice, since we haven't seen these people for ten years, not counting Kai, since it's... Z, pretty much. And then there was one special, but that doesn't count either. 
So then Beerus is there to look for Goku, and Kai tries to hide him, but this is Goku, so of course he wants to fight him. So Goku turns Super Saiyan, and I'll let him explain it again. See, first, I have to go Super Saiyan, and then next, I go on up to Super Saiyan 2. Now! Finally comes the one you've been waiting for, the legendary Super Saiyan 3. What, do you think he was gonna explain it again like he did the Boo? Hell no. We just want to get to the fucking action, yeah! So Goku goes, and Beerus doesn't even feel a thing, and Goku is taken down in two hits. Okay, man. So you went down two hits. You're fighting a goddamn god. You're not exactly gonna have a good, fair fight. You're gonna get your ass kicked. Well, the first time, at least. So then they go to Earth, and he tells Vegeta. So Vegeta gets to the party being pissed off and scared as he remembers who he is from when he was a kid, his father groveling at his feet. And when Vegeta and his saying pride is scared of something, that's saying a lot. Well, he's still probably more scared of worms than he is him. Bulma being a bit tipsy invites them to go into the party and Beerus can party and so can Satan. A duel? Sorry for his rudeness. He's not good at parties. Yeah, sorry, man. The only person you maybe could take a fight with is maybe Yamcha. Maybe. And now we get even more characters returning. It's Pilaf, Mai, and Shu. Who haven't appeared since the original Dragon Ball. Well, unless you count GT, but nobody does. And since they want you to forget GT, they make Pilaf gang kids. I mean, this isn't a big change for Pilaf and Shu since, you know, they've always been kind of short, but my, she's been kind of tall, and they do some weird shit with her, which I will get into when they get to it. So, since the GT roles have been reversed, they're looking around stuff that's valuable, finding the bingo prize, and yeah, Bulma's really rich. So, he tags them himself. Okay, I can understand you're doing this to assholes, but Bulma isn't a... Wait a minute. You know, do it all you want. It doesn't matter, they're fucking rich. They can just buy another one. So, they find the Dragon Ball's main prize. Trunks walks in, finding them, and he calls Goten in, of course. That distinct spiky hairdo! It looks <laughs> very familiar! And those eyes, that blank, innocent stare! It looks very familiar! Don't worry, that's just Goten. And this also isn't GT, so you don't have to worry about him becoming a little kid again. Everybody grab it! Yes, <laughs> so they of course go crazy and Mai gives him the diamond. And so they can get the Dragon Ball. I'm pretty sure that diamond was worth more than a million zenny. Couldn't we have just taken it and left? <laughs> yep. That's the face you make when you know you fucked up. Don't be stupid! Nobody wants to be that rich! It's way too stressful! It's about bad. Yeah, I would say these guys are probably the best written they've ever been. Probably the funniest, too. They're not bad at all, they're actually pretty enjoyable. That's right! You'd be so stressed you'd start wetting yourself all the time, and I'm not watching your pee pee pants! Yeah. Well, except for that, but... Yeah. Whatever makes you feel better. Okay, that just went to a weird place. I expect my evil henchman to have a little class. So since they look like kids, Trunks tells them that she's his girlfriend. And he talks her into holding hands with him. Yeah, I said there was a problem with this earlier. And there is. I know her body is technically 8, but she's technically 41 years old. She's older than his goddamn mother. In her mind, at least, but still, she's 41 years old in eight years' body, but well, I guess it's okay. It's on a. I don't know what the hell it is. So they recognize the people at the party, but go, and even though she doesn't recognize them because they're kids, and on King Kai's planet, Goku is training, so we get to go to the bingo tournament, but there's only, there's only six of them, so Mai does this. Don't move! You can tell him, sir! Ah, all right, 
Hey, listen up, folks. If you don't want us to smash this kid into applesauce, you'll pay us one million zenny! Yeah, do you really think that Goku's... Oh, anybody he might be related to, or anybody who looks like him, wouldn't be able to take a shot? Hell, even as a kid, he's able to take a shot to the head. It hurt, but still. So, of course, they play along with it. Gohan turning into the great Saiyan man. No helmet, of course. And it doesn't work, and of course, he accidentally gets the Del shot. But it's okay. Dende is there, because Sensu Beans are much harder to find than they were in the original. And, of course, one shot hits Beerus, so, of course, he's mad, so Vegito's the only thing he can do to cheer him up. Bingo! 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 <laughs> okay, anybody who's pissed off, just watch that. Not except for Vegeta, that probably I wouldn't rewatch. Let's go! And yeah, it actually calmed them down, and so they take the ball, making them not taking the diamond so much more of a mistake. And to be fair to them, even if they would have taken the diamond, they probably the same thing would have happened. Or they could have ran away. That would have worked too. And so Beers goes to get some pudding, but Boo has it all, and he won't give any because... Boo is a greedy little fat man. Okay, dude, that's just kind of greedy. I mean, at least give him, like, one. You should ask him for one. Stop being greedy, fat ass. Okay, it, when you get your ass kicked, it's your damn fault. And so, Beerus gets mad and kicks Boo's ass and everyone else's, and Vegeta also gets knocked out, and he easily takes down Gotenks, too. So now, Bulma is pissed. And, of course, she slaps him. Yeah, if anybody has the balls to slap Beerus... Well, maybe Chi-Chi, but... It would be Bulma. <laughs> but he does slap her right back. But he probably didn't even slap her that damn hard. Just knocked her out. Oh, dare you! That's my... Only I can slap my damn wife! So even Beerus, a god of destruction, has some trouble with Vegeta, making him stronger than Goku at Super Saiyan 3. But it doesn't really work, but Vegeta gives one last chance for Oolong, playing rock, paper, scissors, and Yanta explains why he should choose something. This guy thinks you're just an ordinary pig with ordinary pig hooves. And a pig hoof could only make scissors, so he'd win every time with rock. But you're not a pig, are you? You're a pig man! Uh, you do realize he has really big ears, right? He probably heard that. And yeah, I was right, he heard it, but Goku's there last minute, and he decides to ask Shenron. Even he's scared of Beerus, and so he explains that he can become a god by putting all their powers together of... So they do it, but they need six Saiyans, and it turns out Videl is pregnant. So, she can do it. So, they go to do it, and even though Videl turns Super Saiyan, and so they can give Goku the power. Yes, you do have the power, even though you're kind of skinnier. But it looks cool, though. So now Goku and Beerus are ready to fight. Goku now actually having a chance against him, and so they go into the air to the city. Goku hates the power because it's not on his own, and because of that, he can't reach it on his own. Yet. He will be able to reach it eventually, but for now, let's get to the action. So the fight begins, them now in the forest, them watching the fight. And it's just hard to explain because it's so awesome, but I'll try my best. So they get to the normal fighting location until they're down in the cave. And where they talk, it's like he's training them. So Beerus goes trying hard, but Goku is transformed back to normal, and he's still doing very good in his normal state, being back to Super Saiyan Rage. And then the real fight begins with... This is my reaction to it. Oh my god, oh my god, holy shit, holy shit, oh fuck, fuck, yeah, 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 fuck, yeah. Holy shit, now it's getting space. Awesome. Yeah. 
So, like I said, they're in space. Go giving one last blast. Holy shit, that's awesome. But there's still more than one more thing. Still awesome, though. Because Beerus throws a big ball, like, bigger than Freezes, that Goku has to stop him, just realizing that he isn't a god anymore, but his power level actually got bigger from it. But Goku still can't stop it, but he does turn him back into a god. Holy shit, that was awesome. But sadly, it's over. So Beerus, because of that, decides not to kill him, and Goku gives up because he can't beat him. Beerus even respects him, being the second strongest fighter he fought. And so Beerus says that he's sorry, and they agree to give him a pudding when he comes back, and invite him down again. Beerus is happy, going down to bed, the movie ending with them saying happy birthday to Bulba. You'd already arrived by instant transmission. You were watching the fight, weren't you, Bulma? I believe Kakarot deserves some more of your signature slap. Sure does. And so, let's end with this. The theme to the Dragon Ball Z, which is an awesome way to end it. And this was an awesome movie. Yeah, no surprise, this movie was great, and this movie is actually able to be, bring the series back from the dead, with this also bringing the sequel, Resurrection F, which isn't as good, but it's this movie is definitely good. The beginning of the movie, it, it's just trying to be fun, and the jokes are good, and I like seeing these characters again, because they are really funny, even the voice actors back do a good job. And the fighting is great, the fighting keeps you on your toes, and I can say it's awesome. And the new form is even cool, even though I prefer blue, which shows up later, but the movie is just awesome. I love it. There's no surprise I will give Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods a 5 out of 5. And now, he's supposed to be back, but not yet. Let's see if Jay's right to review again.